Happy New Year, New Life. I'm Tiffany Scott, and thanks so much for joining us for morning worship. Let's take a brief moment to find out what's happening around New Life. Are you ready to start the new year off right and get out of debt? Well, Financial Peace University begins this Saturday, January the 11th at Annex 5. Let's watch this video for more information. Financial Peace University began about 20 years ago, and now today we've had over one and a half million families go through this course. This is the place where we start happening to our money, where we start aiming our dollars at our goals. You gotta make your money behave. You work too hard to get to the end of your life and be broke. There's a massive group of people out there trying to sell you stuff they want to interrupt your plan. Don't cash out your 401k. I know your 401k looks like a 201k. Remain calm. The only people that get hurt on a roller coaster are those that jump off. God's all in this thing. He's all about fixing you. He's all about fixing me. There's a redemption story built into this whole thing. And every time I give, every time I understand I'm not an owner, I move along that spectrum from selfish to selfless. Now this is a boot camp. I'm your coach. I've had some good coaches and they lit me up a time or two, but it caused me to go places I couldn't go otherwise. You change your life when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Or you say, I've had it. This is how you get out of debt. You gotta run for your life. You gotta run, 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 run. You gotta bust it. You gotta go like your life depends on it. What would happen to the kingdom of God if the people of God were out of debt? How much of this world could we as believers change? To register today, please visit the link. Remember, our pastor has called New Life on a corporate fast. Starting Monday, January the 6th through the 10th, we are fasting and praying to recognize our time of visitation from the Lord and to embrace it. You may choose to fast the entire five days, drinking only juice and water, or choose the Daniel fast, vegetables only, no meat, and of course, you can have water or a partial fast from midnight until 7 p.m. each day. Please do not mix the fast. If you are on medication, please consult your doctor prior to attempting to fast. Join us this week and every week for our midweek Bible studies starting Tuesday nights at NX2 at 7 p.m. Our pastor brings a dynamic word from the Lord. And if you can't make it, join us Wednesday nights at NX5 at 7 p.m. We love to have each and every one of you. For any additional announcements, please refer to your programs. And now let's take this opportunity to hear from our senior pastor, Dr. Terry Ellison. Good morning, New Life. Happy New Year. I am excited, 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 but I'm also overjoyed because I know that this is a year that we see great and greater manifestation to the extreme of God's promises. So the thing and the power of this whole thing is that we believe what God tells us to believe. And if God has said that he's going to do extreme manifestations, I'm going to believe it. I'm going to move. I'm going to work my faith with it because faith without works is dead. Anything I encounter this year, I am confronting it because if it doesn't say what God says about it, I'm confronting it because God has made us extreme promises this year. So I want you to be excited as well. Let's start with the payoff. Listen, you guys have done extremely well last week. Uh, uh, it was a total of $2,600 that was given. Thank you so much for those who uh, have donated to that. Thank you again and again and again. And really, we're now at a total of $31,379.79. Give yourselves a hand for all of you that have been contributing all along. First, for the payoff of Annex 2. Again, Annex 2 is paid for. And next is NX6, and we are on our way to that, and we'll soon be there. I'm so excited about it. Thank you for believing in the vision to sow into it. I love you all for that. Now let's talk about the fast. We're fasting from the 6th to the 10th. That's, it's so important we do this. In other words, we need to really have the heart for what God's going to do. A lot of times God has done a thing, and we don't even realize what he's done or know how to embrace what he's doing. So really it's to get ourselves calibrated or, or lying to what God is really doing so we'll, we'll recognize it. Jesus weeped over an entire city because they didn't recognize the time of the visitation. 
So I'm asking during this time of fasting that we really see God on seeing and then grabbing on to what we see. This is a year of vision, but not just a year of vision, but a, a year of actually pulling in vision to actually receiving what God has for us. So we, if we can't see it, we don't know what, what we're doing. So we need that God to open our eyes so we can see what he's doing, even in our own very personal lives. Let's do this together as a church. I want everyone to come to Bible study and get a word from the Lord. Let's be and do this together. I'm telling you, we're more powerful together. This year, I want everybody to start attending churches. You know, we have the shootings and, and all these things that people are doing to keep people from assembling. When the devil start attacking in an area, that's the area you need to start focusing on. If the enemy is trying to keep people from going to church out of fear, that's the time you need to go to church. God will be our protection. Don't worry about that. Come to church and let our anointings mesh together. And let's see what God would do through all of us. We're in that time of answered prayer that Jesus prayed, Lord, make them one. And that's what he's doing with us. Now back to you, Tiffany. Thank you so much, Pastor, for sharing those observations with us. And as always, let's continue to keep everyone on the prayer list in our prayers, as well as Evangelist Lorraine Petty and family, whose mom, Elder Jesse Myhan, will be funeralized this Saturday, January the 11th, at St. Peter Missionary Baptist Church in Troy, Alabama, 11 o'clock. Thank you so much, New Life, for being attentive to today's announcements. And now, here's a scripture to reflect on this week from Colossians 3, verses 1 and 2. So if you're serious about living this new resurrection life with Christ, act like it. Pursue the things over which Christ presides. Don't shuffle along, eyes to the ground, absorb with the things right in front of you. Look up and be alert to what is going on around Christ. That's where the action is. See things from his perspective. And now, please enjoy the remainder of your worship experience. 